I'm Shane Willems. My name is Laura Willems. My name is Mandy Peacock. My name is Quentin Andrew Peacock. I'm Kendra Willems. My name is Stephanie Willems. My name is Cassie Willems. My name is Rachel Willems. I'm the youngest. We're the Willems, and we are BW Blacksmith. Born in Columbus, Montana. Uh, been living in Florida now for over 30 years. Uh, raised my whole family here. We kind of met here in Lake City, which is bizarre because we're both, my husband's from Montana and I'm from Missouri. And our, somehow our parents ended up here. From as far back as I can remember, I mean, the first time I bought my big piece of property here in Florida, my plan was always to try to keep my kids near um, and have access to them and my grandkids and work together as a family. We're always doing something, whether it's a project, probably most likely is a project. <laughs> we just do so much stuff, and just when you think you can't do more, you do it. Just the fact that everything we do is so, not far-fetched, but just like to the tens. We don't ever like going halfway. So if we're going to build something, we're going to build it the best we can. And we may work 24 hours to get it done, but we're going to make sure we get it done and we get it done right. Um, and so most people consider us crazy for that reason. I kind of say we're like an outlier of the families, normal families in my opinion, because a lot of people, they don't really get along with each other as families, which I always found weird. So it takes a lot of hard work to still stay close and not let it make a, you argue and not get along and want to just get away from each other. The fact that we're all still really good friends and get along I think is a really good thing. The BW Blacksmith brand originated simply as a name we came up with for my dad for his hobby. My grandpa was a very, very special person to all of us, um, and that's why the brand started, was because of him. Um, he was the type of person that he never met a stranger. Loving, caring, I mean, he would help anyone that needed help. He would have loved you guys, he would have loved anyone. There's not one person he didn't like. He, he loved projects. He loved to find old antiques and fix them up and put them on display. Um, he always worked. He hated just sitting around doing nothing. Like even at 70 years old, he'd be out there on the farm. He hated it when somebody told him he couldn't do something. He's, he had that type of attitude towards life and just found a way to worm his way into your heart. My grandpa loved BW Blacksmith stuff. He loved doing that kind of work. Blacksmithing was one thing that really intrigued him and he always had the interest in. So then he decided at one point that he wanted to have his own little shop. So he started setting up his own forge and Shane helped him kind of set all that up. He loved to build things, tinker with things. Um, his shop is filled with items that he might have made, might have modified, built from scratch. Specifically, probably one of his proudest things was, was his uh, blacksmith shop that he had out there at his house as well. Had a lot of uh, hand-built creations. He had a shed out on the on the farm there uh, that he converted into his little blacksmith shop and he started doing that stuff so we came up with the name BW Blacksmith. So my dad had to design him a logo because he wanted to put a goat on his Jeep and he told him that wasn't cool. So we went to work and we started a brand and we really fell in love with it. Had us make lots of stickers and he put them on pretty much everything in his shop. <laughs> he, he always was very tickled and and excited to, to brand his stuff with things that his kids had made. When my dad passed, it was definitely the toughest part of my life. Um, their grandpa was a big part of their life. And uh, they loved the idea when I came to them and said, look, I don't know what yet, but I wanna do something with the BW Blacksmith brand. It was definitely gonna be something that involved families working together. My dad loved to work with his family. So we created uh, B.W. Blacksmith, Chain came up with the coffee, and then that's when B.W. Blacksmith uh, Coffee Company was, was born. He just came up to us one day and was like, we're going to start roasting coffee beans, and I was like, what? I was like, Dad's roasting coffee beans. Okay. So he kind of took his logo that my grandpa had had us design for him, and he decided to start a coffee company with that. Dad just one day was like, let's do coffee. And it's like, well, like, your mom loves coffee. Everyone seems like you talk to you likes coffee. I chose coffee because we wanted to roast our own. We wanted to put a real good brand on it, be super quality and emphasize hard work. So what you're gonna see is a family working very hard towards a goal of uh, becoming the best coffee company in the world and emphasize hard work. That's the goal for the brand. That's what we really want BW Blacksmith to be, is to be in honor of, of his working mentality. We want to do everything ourselves, and we want to do it as a family and, and grow as a family and, and 
and continue the, his dream of staying close together and working hard together. About the charity, we're starting to collect for it. We are setting money aside from the proceeds of BW that are going towards it. We want to help the families during the fight um, to give them a little bit of more uh, support financially to be able to spend that time um, and do what they need to do. That will be happening. We will hit on that in 2021 um, at some level. And I'm hoping the day will come where we can do some really cool things with that. We're planning our big trip to Montana uh, and uh, back to my roots to, to move and everyone's on board. Shane is very cold natured. He misses Montana. He, he wishes he could go back every day. And I don't blame him. Uh, you know, it's, it's an incredible place. The plan is to enjoy a different kind of lifestyle uh, in regards to the outdoors in particular. I mean, that's what Montana truly has to offer. Um, those are where my memories are at. So the plan is to get BW rolling. We're hoping to have a couple coffee shops, if not more, opened up far as the container locations. And then push to make that go across the country. We'll burn the candle from both ends, so to speak. We'll have a big footprint here in the southeast, and then we'll move up to Montana, and we'll start it up there. We're just a hard-working family from Florida looking to move to Montana and try to sell some coffee along the way.